Still struggling to start your first smart contract? Stay solid, because I'm bringing you the quickest way to get there. Hello and welcome to the Decentralized channel. I'm Miguel, and in this channel, we share information about Web3 and blockchain development. So please consider helping us grow by clicking the like button and subscribing to be notified about our next videos. So in this tutorial, we are going to use hard hat to make our lives easier. So we start by creating uh, a new directory here. We just call it hard hat dash one and go inside the directory. So here we start by installing uh, hard hat, uh, the hard hat library from NPM. So install save dev. hard hat okay there it is so right now the second thing we need to do is to create the the hard hat uh, project here so npx uh, hard hat in it so this is the, the command to, to initialize the, the project and it will ask you uh, which type of complementary language that you are going to use. You can choose between JavaScript, TypeScript and now new with VM. Uh, you can also create an empty uh, hard hat config, but for now we are going to choose a JavaScript project. You can just choose all the, the defaults here. And there we go. We have the project initialized. So let's see uh, the files that we have here. We have uh, the contracts directory uh, where the smart contracts, uh, a default smart contract uh, is created. We have the scripts which contains the, the deploy scripts and other scripts that you want to create and the test directory where you can get, you can list uh, the created tests and further tests that you want to run. So let's take a look at the contracts. We have this uh, lock.sol, so let's take a look at it. So here we can see the default contract that the project init creates. So this is a very basic contract which just initializes and the smart contract uh, will wait uh, a certain amount uh, of time until you are able to, to withdraw or to call this withdraw function. Otherwise it will just fail. This is a very basic contract, doesn't do that much at all. So let's take a look at the tests. Uh, and this is the tests uh, that are created by default. Uh, so the basic tests are just checking if the, the withdraw function uh, is able to be called uh, within the timestamp, after the time spent stamp, and if the event is properly uh, emitted uh, when the call is done. Uh, so. Now we can take a look at uh, the functionality of, uh, of hard hat. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this. So here the, the functions that, that we have is to clean, to wipe out uh, everything uh, that is compiled uh, related. We have the, the compile function to, to build the, the smart contracts. Uh, at the console to open uh, a testing console uh, to run uh, things for for the for the hardware hat uh, environment coverage just generates the coverage uh, report uh, after running the tests flatten uh, will give you uh, will flatten you the the, the contract uh, so that you can have the inheritance hierarchy for each contract uh, let's see what else here we have run to run the scripts. This is uh, going to the, the script directory that we have that the init uh, has created. The tests to run all the tests and yeah, 
this is basically it. So let's try to, to build our contracts. So to build our contracts, it's npx. Hard hat, compile. And there we go. So we have uh, a proper build. Let's make uh, an error. Uh, contracts lock. So let's just put something here that it's not supposed to be. And let's build again so that we can see the errors here. So now we, we have uh, some errors and it's complaining about these characters that I put there. Let's remove those again. And let's build again. So just to show you uh, that the errors are working and npx hard hat test to run the test. So this will run uh, the test suit uh, that it's created by default. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, we have each single test uh, that ran. This check uh, will say that the run the test ran successfully and the amount of time that it took to, to run the tests. We can even check and uh, create uh, an error on purpose. Uh, so let's see let's see one. Yeah, let's lock the amount let's try to expect uh, the lock amount this should be a big int and now we should have an error because we are putting a value that it's not going to to go on that event so this is just to show you how the error works uh, so yeah the event uh, should emit an event on withdrawals and oh cannot mix begin with other types so let's see actually i thought that amount would be a begin so yeah so we were expecting this value and the amount on the event uh, is this one, so it failed. So this was just to show you um, the tests failing. Uh, so we have this test here failing and here the, the reason why it's failing. This is it for the first lesson on hard hat. Uh, we will be covering uh, other topics on the next ones. So see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.